Hi, welcome to the overview of the expandable mix sensor measurement system based on Compact DAC and using FlexAugur software. Most verification and validation testing systems require more than one measurement, and so NI designed this specific system to encompass four of our most popular measurements, voltage, current, digital, and temperature. But before we jump into the specifics about the system, let's see it in action. I'm gonna open up FlexAugur, which is our configuration-based data acquisition software and requires minimal to no programming. You'll notice here I have a couple of graphs, which is real-time data coming from the sensors from the system. The displacement is using our voltage module, and I will pick up the sensor, and as I get closer and closer to the metal of the chassis, you'll notice that we get some data. But right now, we're actually not collecting data in a way that we can analyze it. First, we're gonna have to hit this Run button. And you'll notice as soon as I do that, a TDMS file is now recording. So now everything I do will be recorded into this file. The digital module is in this angular position. So you'll notice as I change the sensor, we see activity on the graph as well. And the last sensor that we're gonna see is this thermocouple for the temperature module. And when I put my finger on it, you'll notice that the bar graph goes up, and as soon as I let go, it goes back to ambient temperature. So now let's see what's actually in this system. What I have in front of me is a eight slot USB compact DAC chassis, the CDAC 9178. In the system, we have four modules. The first one is our 9401, a digital module. Next is the 9213, our thermocouple module. The third one is the 9253, which is our current, and lastly, our voltage module, the 9205. Each of these modules comes with a plastic back shell. You'll see two of them available here, as well as the little stands that you see that hold it up for your desktop use. The voltage module is 32 single-ended and has gain, and you can configure input ranges for each specific channel. It's also quite high speed. It has up to 250 kilo samples per second. Our current module is also has high speed. It has up to 50 kilo samples per second. The temperature is our most common sensor, and so that's why it's part of this system. While this is your starting point for any verification and validation system, it's expandable. As you can see, you have four extra slots. So you can add or swap out up to 80 of plus modules that we have available, such as sound and vibration, power, or even strain and load. So now let's jump back into the software. NI has created a specific template for mixed measurement, so when you get the system, you can start easier and faster. We have our channel specifications tab where it has all our modules, and you can configure your sensors, add more channels, and everything. You'll notice I have a couple of sensors mapped out, as you see earlier. Next, we have our logging specifications. The only thing that I changed here is our exporting automatically to CSV. Our test specifications, which you can add alarms to notify you if anything goes amiss during a test. The default screen that has the real-time data is what you see here. And this is the modified screen to show the sensors that we have. So the entire time we've been running a test system, not much has happened, but when I hit the stop button, you'll notice that we have two files available, our TDMS and our CSV file. Overall, NI has designed our chassis and our modules to be durable as well as have high quality. So you can be confident in your verification and validation test system and focus on just the results. Thank you for watching the overview for the expandable mixed sensor measurement system.